Did you hear? Did you hear? Oh, quiet. Surely, this man is wise. I knew you'd think so. Didn't I tell you, David? How can you call him wise? He, he's done nothing but tell silly stories. Sowers, seeds, mustard trees. That's yeah, nonsense. Maybe, maybe he wants us to discover the meaning for ourselves. Or, <laughs> or uh, maybe not. <laughs> no, it's true. His stories have a hidden meaning. The secrets of the kingdom of heaven. If the secrets of the kingdom of heaven are to be taught, they will be taught by a rabbi. Shh. Quiet now. Jesus is ready to preach. He who hath ears to hear, let him hear. The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man who planted a field of wheat. But while he and his servants slept, his enemy came and scattered bad seeds among the wheat, then went on his way. And it came to pass that when the wheat came forth, there appeared tares also. I don't know how this could have happened, sir. We planted good seeds. I know we did. It's not your fault, my friend. An enemy has done this. I'll pull up the tears, sir. No. When you pull up the tears, you may damage the wheat as well. Let them grow together until the harvest. And at that time, I will say to the reapers, gather the tares together and tie them in bundles to burn them. Gather the wheat, bind them together, and store them into my barn. I see. I see. The wheat are the good people, and the tares are... Now, you understand this nonsense as well? I, I, I think I do. I, uh, uh, well, I thought I did. Uh, <laughs> don't you? This man teaches blasphemy and wickedness. Beware, all of you. Come, Jeremiah. <laughs> I said we're leaving, Jeremiah. Uh, uh, where, uh... Come now or you will be shut out of the synagogue forever. <laughs> I'm coming. I'm coming. You didn't actually want to stay, did you? <laughs> of course not. It was just so nice to be outside. That's all. The fresh air and all. <laughs> He who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven 
is likened to a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. All that I have, I'll sell all that I have to hold in my hand the pearl. Nothing I have can compare with the prize when I hold in my hand the pearl. Brighter than sun, clearer than glass, dearer than gold, the pearl. Kingdom of God, it's the kingdom of God. It's life with my Lord, the pearl. All that I have is ashes, is earth. Now that I've seen the pearl, and I will not rest. Cannot be content till at last it is mine forever to shine the kingdom of God, the pearl. Let me gather everything I own. All that in this dreary world I've known. Pleasures. For one single shining thing All that I have is ashes, is earth Now that I've seen the pearl And I will not rest, I cannot be content Till at last it is mine Forever to shine The kingdom of God The pearl I... I... I must be going. But David... He's not finished. I don't want to hear anymore. David, what's wrong? Give up all I have? That's what he's saying. That I must give up everything and follow him. David, you know he teaches the truth. I have worked too hard, Sarah. It's taken ten long years. My work... My work is my life. Is it worth more than the kingdom of heaven? For many are called, but few are chosen. I... I can't. Master, why do you speak to the people in parables? Wouldn't it be easier to teach them plainly? To you it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. Don't you want them to understand, Lord? Yes. But their ears are dull and their eyes are closed. But blessed are your eyes and ears. For they see and hear. The parable of the sower, Master. There's something I don't understand. Come. Sit next to me. Behold, a sower went forth to sow. And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside. I know that you are the sower, Lord and that the seeds are the word of God. But what does this mean, seeds falling by the wayside? When anyone hears the word of God 
but refuses to understand it. Then the evil one comes and takes away that which was sown in his heart. This is he who received the seed by the wayside. But he who receives the seed into a stony place hears the word of God with joy at first. But when the heat of persecution rises, his faith dies and he falls away because the seed has no root in his heart. He that received the seed among thorns is he that heareth the word, but the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word, and he becomes unfruitful. But one who receives the seed into good ground, that person hears the word and understands it, and also bears fruit. Some thirty, some sixty, some an hundredfold. So shall it be at the end of the world. The king shall say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father. Inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. 